Now, this stock trading on uh, Empire Avenue, Empire Cred, is, can you not hear me? Ah, okay, okay. I, having made you host, I'm going to go out and come back in again. Can you hear me? I'm trying to get the sound going. I'm checking if Angelica can hear me. And hopefully in a second, Angelica will actually type something. And I'll know. Oh, good. Right. OK. Uh, Wilson, can you hear me? Right, can, Wilson, can you refresh your screen? Just refresh your browser. It'll take you out and then bring you back in again. Okay, and we'll these things are sent to tries. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the top again in a moment. Uh, if you bear with us, we have Skip. Skip, hello. Testing, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. I'm just going to turn my volume up uh, and okay. then I should be able to hear you clearly. Um, I'm just putting up the mixer. Hello, Skip. Hello, testing, one, two, mix, mix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we're we've got a good connection now uh can you confirm that angelica that you can hear both of us please thank you <laughs> right okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press uh right we'll actually you're already recording. okay right okay uh just to review uh, empire avenue started in 2010 i joined in around 2011 uh, so I've been in, playing a game for four and a half years, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Uh, the site was taken over by People Browser, who own Cred, and became Empire.Cred in September 2015. Now the game itself is divided into sections, so lots of good reasons for playing there. First of all, uh, it's a social network, and uh, over the years I've met quite a few people. How about you, Skip? Uh, more people than I can keep track of, actually. I probably have developed more friendships on Empire than I have on Facebook. I, I, I totally agree. I mean, I've, I've met about 800 people, and I'm in contact with quite a few of them on a, a regular basis through Empire Avenue, uh, because you and I are actually uh, moderators on the site. And uh, that's a job in itself. We'll not talk about that, because <laughs> we're supposed to be behind <laughs> the scenes. Um, <laughs> But it is a, a, a networking site. The other, th the other thing is, is a, a social shares site. Everybody can buy shares and everybody else. And the principle behind that is that your shares are determined by the activity you have on the networks, on Twitter. You can link your Twitter account. On Facebook, you can link your Facebook account. Uh, you can link your Instagram account. And uh, from your activity on Empire Avenue itself and on those networks, your share price should gradually go up. Now, the key thing here is knowing that you're doing the right thing and Empire Cred provides you with all the tools uh, that you'll need to monitor your social activity. Uh, it tells you, uh, gives you a score for Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram. And also you've got your Cred score and a Cred score is uh, an alternative to clouds. It's been going uh, quite a number of years and if those are increasing then you can actually n tell uh, that your 
social networking is going the right way. Those are free, totally free. And it's also totally free to uh, run what are termed emissions on empire.cred. And a mission is asking somebody to visit a tweet, a URL, a YouTube, and just take a look at it. Now, if you have built up a good network on Empire Cred, then people will promote you. And that's the key, is to actually get involved with people and network. And from there, uh, people will promote you on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. Um, and hopefully, you will do the same for them. And it is pay it forward. If you do help somebody, then at some point, they're going to help you back. And Empire Cred is one of the best interactive social networks there is. Uh, most people, uh, in fact, there are over 5,000 people a month active on the site at the moment. And uh, we're hoping with Empire Cred that, that there's cred on board that that is going to grow. Now, we're going to talk about November's activities. Uh, November is going to be a very busy month on Empire Cred because it's uh, the start of a series of events which are aimed not only to uh, help everybody who's a member there, but to help the site itself. And the first thing that takes place is the Blogathon. Now, we've held that last year. And last year, we asked you to blog about Empire Cred. Uh, this year, we're increasing that, not only to, to blog about Empire Cred, the Blogathon, which starts uh, next weekend, uh, will, in fact, uh, want you to share your expertise. So principles are simple and straightforward. You blog on one of the categories that have been set, and you can blog about, of course, you can blog about Empire Cred and Doc Cred pages, but you can also blog about social networking and SEO and blogging and uh, technical. And um, I think there's one other topic as well, which has case me for the moment. But the topic of the blog is your free choice. And you post a blog on your own site. And as soon as you uh, posted that blog, then you can enter the competition. When you enter the competition, straight away, uh, your blog is reposted on the official empire.cred blog site. And also, uh, you'll be entered into a contest within your category that you've chosen, and an overall prize will be paid as well. Um, the contest will run uh, throughout October. Um, as I say, it starts next weekend. Now, alongside that, if words are not your thing, there's a videoathon. And the categories are the same as for the blog, but this time you can make a video and you can make a video on a topic of your choosing and submit it. Um, and again, there will be category prizes and overall prizes um, to basically um, get you known. The fact that the, the credit is involved is, is immaterial. What we're actually doing here is promoting, as I said earlier, your blogs and we're promoting your videos too. So it's a time to boost yourself. Um, last year, we had 43 blogs and a similar number of videos, and we're hoping for the same this year. Alongside that, uh, once the blogs and videos start coming in, there will be a share -athon. Now, again, the share has weekly and monthly prizes, and the idea is that you share the content that the people who have created blogs have posted and the videos as well. Now, just back to the videos for a moment. Interestingly, this year we have two new ways of doing it. Uh, thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to videos this year, Wilson, because the, the situation is that this year we have, in addition to what we had last year on YouTube, we've also had uh, Periscope, Meerkat, and, of course, Blum have come into the video arena. So you can <laughs> enter a Periscope, you can enter a Meerkat uh, broadcast, or you can enter a blab. Um, so you've got more opportunities. And if you're doing a blab, of course, as we can see from the screen, we can have up to up to four people involved. So uh, it can be a joint uh, team effort. Uh, and once you've entered it, then it will go into the share a -thon. And uh, it will be shared on Twitter and on Facebook and on LinkedIn. And if it's a video, it will be shared. All over, well, all over the internet, really. And the idea is to get as many of our 5,000 active members involved as we can. Um, in tandem with that, we want to grow the site as well. So there will be an invite-a-thon. And the basic principle behind that is that 
you can invite your friends to the site and not only will you get a reward but your friends will get a bonus reward as well and each week uh, the person who's invited the most friends and helped the most friends will receive an additional bonus at the end of that week and there'll be an overall winner at the end of the month what we want to do is to get more people involved in the site the infrastructure has improved greatly over the last uh, couple of months with uh, Craig's program has been involved. They were left a good legacy by dupes, but now the site is moving ahead and it's good on the uh, browser and it's also good on the uh, iPhone and on the iPad and uh, on all Android devices. Um, it's working very well. And I think um, things are just getting better, aren't they? I think so. It's um... It's a sharper design, those, you know, it takes a while, like any remake, it does take a while to get used to it. Um, <coughs> sorry, had a, had a brain cramp there. The, um, the thing though is, do we want to take a minute and maybe explain cred, just so that yes, everyone really. knows what we're talking about? Okay. That's a good um, idea. I'm sure, yeah, I think everyone knows about clout scores or peer index scores. Clout, I'm sorry. Cred is just another way of uh, discovering your social media. Um, I think they call it analytical matrix, I believe is their official term. Um, mm -hmm. It's more popular than, it's far more complex than how many followers you have or how many likes you got on Facebook or how many thumbs up you got last month. Um, it's a continuous uh, recalculation as well as I think it's a rolling average, but I'm not positive on that. Um, they sh people should check it out. It's a very uh, interesting matrix, though not well, not as common as cloud at the moment, but hopefully we can take care of that. Indeed. Yeah. Um, and to be honest with you, I can't even remember the last time I even checked my clout score. I I, uh, mm, I keep an eye on mine. I want to make sure it's, it's, it's sort of uh, it's remaining <laughs> steady. Um, uh, my cred score as well. I mean, the, 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 the dot cred pages are interesting too, aren't they? Um, yeah, that was a, a fascinating uh, change. Um, it would be nice if it was a little bit more flexibility as far as what we can edit on them. It would be nice if I could use them. Uh, I probably don't want to mention other websites, um, but I was actually kind of hoping I can consolidate some of these other sites that we have out there, such as About, and there's two or three I can only think of about me at the yeah. moment. Z-Me? You know, consolidate them all. Z-Me, that was the other one, yep. Yeah. Um, and consolidate them all into the dot cred. Hopefully, they'll get the kinks worked out and we'll be able to do something like that soon. Um, they also have the .ceo extensions now too, or I'm sorry, domains now. Mm. Indeed. So you, um, can have, so you can have Stephen Henley C, .ceo. Yes. I mean, uh, I, you're a CEO, right? True, true. I'm, I'm, I'm in a company of one though, so I'm CEO by default. Um, yeah. Uh, so there's the, the dot cred pages as well. Uh, I think it's, it's an inter interesting times because cred are actually putting a lot of uh, effort into uh, getting the site going. And hopefully we'll see uh, a reward for that uh, in the coming weeks and months. Um, I do. Now, you know, one thing, if I can back up for a minute, we were talking about the blogs and, uh, and the blogathons. You know, in the empire.cred when we set up for our networking yeah we have all the mainstream sorry network connections yeah but we also have connections where we can connect our own websites our own blogs um if we have an rss feeder if anybody is still using rss feeders uh you can even connect that if you want to you know, yeah um yeah i am not in this as a, as a professional networker or a social media um, guru like you, you know, I'm pretty much here on Empire originally just for the fun, I guess for the hunt of the game. 
Um, I'm a computer engineer by trade, so I keep my fingers a little bit of everything. So when people ask me about the newest technology or why something's not working right, at least I know what they're talking about. Yep. Um, yep. yep. <laughs> So I don't really pay, you know, my social media score is is not that, that high on my priority list, but I know on CRED, it's actually part of our screen displays, and I know mine has gone up probably 30 points in the last month. Wow. I'm not really sure wow. why, but I'll take it. Um, but the main thing that I love about Empire is, besides the camaraderie, when you get to know people, such as yourself or... or Wilson hiding out there in the background. There he is. He's coming, he's coming um, to join us. Yeah. Is also the fact that you can do what's called the missions. Um, I've lost track over how many websites or blogs I have found from members now that I actually make. Well, that's an interesting split screen. Looks like somebody has X split on their computer. Uh, sorry. So anyway, um, <laughs> where they have their own websites, or blogs, and you know what? I've got a group uh, of bookmarks I keep on my desktop that I call daily reads, and uh -huh. pretty much I automatically hit those websites now like two or three times a week, which if you're into social media and your website statistics are important, especially if you're trying to generate revenue off of your blogs or website, that's going to be critical to you, you know, I, to get people yeah. coming to your site because they want to come back to your site. And I probably have about six or seven of those um, websites or blogs that I go to that I do that on now. And I'm sure that other people, if you're trying to promote your uh, your cause or your, or your home business, you know, that's an excellent way to build your networking and friendships as well. Indeed, I mean it's not just as you say; it's not just connections; it's friendships as well. People have got to know each other really well um, over a number of years. I mean, it's not something you join and you leave five minutes later. You you actually get involved in the share trading, in the missions, uh, and in the communities. And uh, there's a real community spirit there. Uh, it's for gamers, it's for bloggers, it's for anybody who's interested in social media, really, isn't it? Yeah, and I have maybe have met, I think, five or six people that are probably with, you know, within an hour drive of my home that I probably never would have met. And yeah, we've, I mean, do we get together every day or every week in real life? No, but, you know, a couple times a year, we, at least we meet for a drink and joke around, have a few laughs, and yeah. it's just nice to meet somebody in your own area as well. And one of the other nice things that I love about the networking part of it is that if you've got the paid version, or one of the paid membership versions, I should say, of Empire, you've got a whole lot of statistics at your fingertips. You know, viewing rates, completion rates, click-through rates. Yep. And I'm sure that if somebody's doing networking professionally or if you're living, if your living is based on the Internet, you're probably would really love to have those statistical matrix that Empire gives you for yep. every mission, which is basically a promotion. You know, a mission would be like, hey, I'm promoting this blog, go do it, and then here's a little incentive, you know. Um, an empire, it's called Eves, and here's some Eves to go look at my website. So, you know, what goes around comes around. That's, that's true. I mean, people, people help each other uh, a great deal, um, and missions are the one of the ways to do that, because a mission uh, if you if you have taken the steps of getting to know people and people know who you are and what you're doing, a mission can can uh, result in 30, 40 retweets quite easily. Uh, but you've got to put the time in, haven't you? You've got to invest time. Oh, it, yeah. I mean, it, it is. And you have to build it like any other network. I mean, there's times when I've had stuff out there and I'm like, why is this only getting... You know, why isn't this moving or why is this particular mission or this promotion getting no traction or very little traction, let's say, on Twitter or Facebook? And yet other stuff that I put out there and I'm like, wow, that's really taken off. So, you know, I, is it me because I just, you know, trying to branch out into something new and experimenting or 
caught my audience at the wrong time. I don't know, but I think the experimenting is half the fun. Oh, it is, yeah. And I'm yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, the, the, the thing is to, to have fun on Empire itself and, and with the missions and uh, try things out. I mean, one of the big things for me is that for years I was kind of like a guest writer or blogger on someone else's website. And between the web hosting company and my buddy both going out of business within a month of each other. So I really wasn't writing on, on the Internet. And, of course, I lost my history. Yeah. Um, but now I was thinking, like, you know, I want to spend this time to go start my own website or blog again. And there's a lot of interesting people I met off Empire that have offered to help me build it or at least design it and get it going. And it's given me an excellent path of looking at what works or doesn't work with people. Yeah. Well, and it's been a great learning. Yeah, I mean, our, our, our friends, uh, we've got varied skills. We've got we've got web designers, we've got bloggers, we've got SEO people, we've got any skill that you, you need to actually get something started is there on Empire Avenue, isn't it? Empire Cred. And uh, people are willing to help. <laughs> and 98% if it's just a simple question, like, I'm trying to do this. Is this something that, you know, can you help me out really quick or – you know, or just broach a topic with them. And 98% of the time, if it's a simple question, they'll answer you and not even think twice about it. That's right. You know, is it, free, right. is it free tech support? No, not really, because you make a habit out of it. They'll say something really quick. But if it's just one sort of blue moon type question, go for it. I mean, I saw one person and I loved how he was doing his missions and I couldn't figure out how to do it. And and I was promoting a, uh, I was trying to help promote a local food bank. Okay. And so I sent okay. a private message and I said, you know, I love what you're doing with this mission and this mission, but how in heck are you doing that? And then I explained to him what I was trying to do with my mission and what was going wrong. And he probably spent like a good 20 minutes just being a nice guy and, and helping me with it. And then of course I did, you know, pay it forward. And when somebody asked me, I was more than happy to help them, which I probably would have anyway. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah. it's just a great way to learn promotioning, uh, promotioning, probably just work on learning grammar too. Um, or just if you just want to re redo your site, but you're not sure what, it's just, it's an excellent way of exploring anything and everything. How's that for an answer? That's a brilliant answer. <laughs> Uh, right. Are there any any questions? Uh, to everyone who's watching, thank you. Uh, we're enjoying this. Are there any questions that you'd like to ask us, uh, or if would you like to to take a seat? Um, I'm not. We're not going to push anybody. There's no there's no pressure at all. Uh, but if you have questions, then we're more than willing to answer them. Uh, right. Okay. Um, so anyway, so the reason why I was bringing up about, you know, promoting your own blogs or whatever was to kind of like for the blogathon, which is up first. So obviously you have to have your website up and running for that because you have to do this on your website, not the yep. Empire website, because I already had somebody ask me that question this morning. <laughs> so obviously you need to have your own website, got to have your own blog. Um, and you got to have, you know, it'd probably be better if you had it connected to your Empire account so that at least you get the traffic credit and you can actually use the matrix of Empire to um, to see how your uh, your blog is doing or what your click-through rate is from Empire to your own site. Oh, the exploit man's back. <laughs> Yeah, and we're just, yeah, we're just, uh, we're just getting to uh, hopefully if, if you uh, in the top left before the, the blab URL, you see a, a green lock. If you click on that, then you can restrict access to video and you'll be uh, sound only. So the video will go off, but we'll be able to hear you. We'll, we'll be able to hear you. See now on my Chrome, it's in the top right. Oh, There's right, okay. 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 But I have an external uh, camera, so that could be why mine's different. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. it, on the, on the right-hand side, you can choose the camera and the microphone. On the left-hand side, you've got com camera is allowed by you. Microphone is allowed by you. Um, uh, Wilson, you're there, but your audio weak. Hello. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. I'm going to actually hear me. I'm going to turn my volume up a bit. Right. Okay. Sorry for the blank motion, but I'm nursing a scratchy throat today. Understood. Understood. It would seem that. Uh, right. It would seem there's a. It would seem there's a bit of a problem with uh, adding the third conversation to this platform. Uh, here, both of you speaking clearly, but uh, I had myself and both of you break up incredibly. So it would probably be best if I did not uh, participate in voice. Uh, it seems like it would uh, hinder the experience of all their caller listeners. So I'll back out. Okay. Well, Wilson, th thank you. For Wilson, are you using XSplit? See, like skips. Right, it's back on there. Sure. Uh, yeah, I just switched off for the moment while while Wilson uh, okay. uh, tried to get in. Uh, welcome, Mohammed. Uh, are you actually on uh, Empire Cred? Can we ask you the question? If you want to type the answer, just type it in the bottom right hand side. Uh, okay, thanks, Wilson. Understood. Uh, perhaps we can try it for our later in the, in the week. Um, but we're talking about the events on on Empire Cred, and of course. We've got the invite-a-thon, we've got the blog thon we've got the share a -thon, and we've got the video-a-thon. And then, if that wasn't enough, uh, it's Expendapalooza, which is coming up uh, on the 20th of the month, I think. You have to get the dates right. Is that is that correct, Skip? 20 or 22nd, I think. I don't have a calendar in front of me. Right, okay. I yeah. know it runs in a couple of days this time. And then there's also uh, the full moon as well. Yeah, this this followed by the uh, the full moon event, um, which comes uh, at the end of the month because it's it's a fixed event. It's every four weeks uh, to fit in with the the lunar cycle, and those events have been going now for well about eighteen months. Yeah, it went from yeah, it went from every so often to a monthly event now, and I know at one time we were trying to coincide it with the actual full moon, which is yeah. obviously hard to do when you're spanning so many different time zones. That's true. Yeah, I mean the Empire of News member and Creds members are around the world. So uh, yeah, I mean, right got... now you're you're where you're in you're in the UK, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's five thirty here. And I am in uh, and I'm in the north woods of Illinois, and it's uh, twelve thirty here. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it's it's my accent that's causing the problem, apparently. Thank you, Wilson. Um, yes. Uh... <laughs> I'm not American. No, uh, I. My accent is from the north of the UK and close to Manchester, uh, and that's that's where I uh, I grew up. And uh, if you can't understand me, I will try and speak more slowly. Uh, but it it is I hopefully pretty close. As Angelica will Angelica will confirm, it's pretty close to the Queen's English. Um, <laughs> We that's, should get you and somebody from Australia in the same lab. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful country. Uh, and we've got plenty of members uh, who are actually on that side of the world who play Empire Avenue. Of course, their day is upside down. But at Empire Avenue is 24-7. You can go on the site any time of day. And you can find a friend to, uh, to chat to. And you've got a game to play. <laughs> it is, and you know, <laughs> one of the biggest things I find where I get find really interesting is before we get back on the original topic, yeah. is just having the conversations from different people around the world, not just holidays, but just everyday things like, you know, accents. I guess um, yeah. it's just it's a very 
for most people, it's a very friendly platform. Um, out of between all the major social media platforms, pro, you know, Empire is probably the second most, uh, my most visited social media platform, you know, during the day or during the week. Um, definitely ahead of Facebook. I have never been a huge Facebook person, um, but I probably spend more time on Empire over the course of a week than I do on Facebook and lately even Twitter. So. Yeah, I, I, I agree. And that's yeah, really I, I count agree. my empire time. So yeah. Yeah, uh, it's it's you, you actually the thing about uh, uh, Empire Avenue is that not only are you actually empire getting to know people, you're actually promoting uh, your own cause or your own uh, business or your own products or services uh, with the help of friends. I mean, there, there are various sites which you can join, uh, which will group people together. If you've got um, a book or a, a blog that you want to promote, then normally what would happen is you, your friends would uh, promote it. Uh, and if you joined a group on Facebook and said, right, we'll all share each other's blogs, uh, and that starts off like a train, and you've got 20 people in the group and you've got 20 people sharing blogs, uh, but eventually what happens is that people drop out. Uh, that's the problem with the normal situation on groups, on, on group sharing, on group help. We don't find yeah. that on, on empire.cred because there are so many different missions to get involved in, as Alan Gellica will attest, there are so many interesting missions to get involved in that it doesn't peter out. The, the fact that you're not asking the same 20 people to share your blog or book <laughs> at, the same, at the same time. Each time you run a mission, it's different people getting involved. And even if you're just poking around the many communities within Empire, you're almost always going to find somebody new or somebody you haven't met before or talked to before. Um, I know that some of my social media friends have really been making fun of me because I do so little on Instagram or Flickr. So when I decided, you know, maybe I should revisit being active on those platforms. Guess what was the first thing I went to? I went to the to the Empire forums on Flickr and Instagram, and that's where I started studying up at. I didn't go to YouTube or poking around somewhere else looking to figure out how to use them or if I want to resume using them. I went to the community with an empire, so it's getting to be more of the go-to site for me anyway, or at least to start at. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree. Um, just to answer Wilson's question, the, the purpose of this blog uh, was first of all for, for Skip and I to meet because we've not met before. Uh, it's the first time we actually had a chance to talk and see each other. Uh, and we we're actually promoting Empire Cred for members, uh, just simply explaining the November program, and also, in addition to that, explaining what Empire Cred is, so that if people haven't tried it yet, then they can uh, take a look around and see whether the site can actually help them. Uh, for anybody who's interested in the site, I'm just getting the URL. Uh, I'm going to paste the URL. Oh, I was just doing that myself. All right. <laughs> Uh, so to answer Zelly, uh, that's the URL if you want to go and check it out. Um, Stephen, real quick, on my yeah. on the left side of the screen under questions, do you have access to that box? Uh, just a moment. Yeah. Because uh, there's no questions been asked. If you want to ask a do question, you have, do you have a right, question? Right. Let's just take two minutes to access to that box. To All right. Uh, if we have got maybe we could put the URL in that box because it's not giving me an option to edit that box. Right. I thought maybe okay. we could put the URL in there real quick. Yeah, I, I, you want to? Sorry, you you've got the URL. Sorry, hang on. Got the URL. Hang on. I was just uh, thinking if we put it in the question box so that we could. Uh, it would be just stay up there for right. everybody. The, the, right. the question, the question the, box, the question box uh, is actually filled from what? Send, 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 send a message. Send a message. 
Is it slash Q or slash question? Because I did slash question and mine and I went into the bit bucket, I guess. Yeah, uh, it should be for welcome to Lynn, who's just joined us. Uh, Lynn doesn't have any questions about Empire Avenue. In fact, if we yeah. skip or I don't know the answer, then Lynn will provide <laughs> it. Uh, we've, <laughs> we've been running hey, through the program. The, uh, before we hit record. Oh. Right. You okay, Skip? Yeah, I was going to say something before you hit the record button, but that's okay. Right. The, the Halloween uh, program today um, and the appearance of candy in people's profiles, uh, you, Lynn will know the answer to that, but uh, I think it was a team effort uh, behind the scenes to actually get the uh, Halloween program going and to monitor it. Um, is Lynn going to join us, or is she camera shy? I don't know. I don't. I think this is probably her first blab. Um, and there we are. It's a team of volunteers behind the scenes who run <laughs> Empire.cred on a daily basis. And, and Lynn has said that she's quite happy to watch. Well, that's that's reasonable. It's get a feel for the uh, the system itself. We've given a, a brief history of uh, Empire Cred, and we've looked at this month's program with the. Uh, blogathon and videothon and invitathon and we've made a, a little mention of Expendapalooza and Full Moon so we've got a full program of events uh, throughout November for people to get involved in. It is all free, you join the site for free and you can use all the facilities of the site without restriction. How well you play the game, how well you do in the game is up to you. The only thing you need to invest to succeed is your time with really, isn't it Skip? I'm sorry, I spazzed out there, but uh, there we go. All right, okay. So the, the Empire credit is free to play. You just need to invest your time. Yeah, I mean, when I first started four and a half, five, six years ago, whatever the heck it was, um, I think it was maybe an hour a day. Um, nowadays, it's whatever you want to put into it. Some days I may not visit at all. Most days I probably do about an hour and a half, two hours at least. Yep. And that's just hanging out, checking, you know, there's a couple of communities there where if you don't hit them every day, you kind of fall really behind on some of the discussions um, and some of the Q and A's. So I kind of like to hit some of those on a regular basis. I, I agree. Uh, it is uh, the, uh, I think you get so involved in, in what's going on on the site and you're not actually, uh, as you would be on Facebook, uh, just chatting, you're actually uh, getting things done uh, with the use of, of missions to promote your cause or your uh, your business. And as we said earlier, it's a very friendly bunch of people as well. You and I have made hundreds of friends over the years that we've been there who've helped us in real life. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of cooperation goes on as well. Uh, I mean, you and I, you very kindly offered to help me uh, with software which I was uh, developing and during July and August we worked pretty well together to uh, debug yep. a program called Estrantia and I'm so grateful for your help in that because what went out at the end of the day was totally different from what we started with. Um, <laughs> so we, we did cooperate, I mean it was, it was great because we got to know each other empire we knew what we uh, what each other's skills were, and uh, we worked together well for those two months. And at the end of the day, it's given us a, a product which has now got uh, quite a number of users who uh, whose feedback is good. And that's because people on the site have become friends, as we've become friends. Yeah, the... Um, I don't know how you want to answer the question from Wilson, but I'll take a crack at it first. The um, if you're talking about the Halloween promotion there, Wilson, we, that was a that was a team of the administrator, volunteer administrators, and moderators. Not uh, really credit itself, even though we did have to bounce it off them, obviously for approval. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much all of us volunteers. That's, that's good to know, um, Lynn, thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the thing about uh, 
Empire Avenues was back in 2014 is that they took the brave decision uh, that the members knew more about, enough about the game to run the game. So in 2014, the death day running of the game was handed over to uh, a group of dedicated members who, who ran it uh, until the site was sold. And it's still true today. Lynn leads a group of volunteers, of which you and I are two, and uh, we oversee the site. So when members are talking to us, they know who they're talking to, and we can respond and give feedback and give help to anybody who's on the site. I mean, there are a lot of people that we should we should name. Uh, Nance and Sally, uh, Paul, um, the, the whole host of people behind the scenes that you don't see who are actually keeping things going on, on a daily basis. And of course, we're uh, well led by Lynn. Um, and it's just such a, a great team effort uh, to keep the site running on a daily basis. Um, and we have good relationships with the people uh, within the uh, People Browser organization and uh, their full support. Um, and it's, it's quite a unique organization in that the members are actually running the site, uh, which for a commercial organization uh, is quite a brave step to make. And um, it's working um, as far as we can tell. Um, <laughs> No, okay, that's that's the commercial out of the way. Um, and thanks to yeah, all the volunteers yeah. who do keep things going. Yeah, the um, how much time do we have here? Uh, we've got, I think, if we, if we spend another 10 minutes, skip and wind up a, okay. a, 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 a from um, my side, which will be six o'clock. I am, I will confess that I am kind of embarrassed to say this, but I cannot find the link to the blog that, that I believe you wrote for the upcoming events for the month. I was going to give that out, but I can't get oh. my hands on it right away. Okay. There. Right, I, I just posted the link. Yeah, I just posted it now. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, that gives a, a full summary of the events. And as each event starts, uh, direct instructions will be given uh, in the Empire Cred blog. Um, uh, we welcome uh, retweets of that blog and we welcome uh, people getting involved too. Um, and I think the main thing is, is that last year, I think you, we had what, 43, I think you said, entrance for the blogathon? That's correct, did yes. That include, did that include the video people or is that in a separate, was no, that, that, was, separate? that was excluded, excluding uh, everybody who entered last year, and uh, as you said, there were 43, uh, blogged first on their own site, and then the, the blog itself was reposted on the empire.cred site. Now, from the empire.cred site, it was then admissions were run and it was then tweeted and posted on Facebook and promoted all over the web. Um, so that gave exposure. Okay good exposure to everyone who actually wrote a blog and it'll be the same this year this year though we've actually increased the number of topics so you don't have to write about empire cred you can write about your expertise or your interest you can do a video about uh, again about your expertise or interest and this year of course we've got uh the entry of periscope and meerkat and blab so you could do a periscope and enter that as a, as a video you could do a meerkat video you could do a blab video if you did a blab video you could have three to four people cooperating so uh the, the options are there and um it is uh, an ideal time to actually get your own calls or business promoted uh, and to get involved. And it's all about getting involved. As, as Skip and I were saying earlier in this, you just come in, uh, Empire Cred is a community. It's a virtual uh, stock exchange. Uh, it's friends helping friends to get the word out and consistently so. And it's a community and people have become friends. As Skip had said earlier, uh, he's seen seven or eight people in the real world who are Empire Avenue members in his locale. That's right, isn't Skip? Yeah. Yep. And then the other thing is, is that if you wanted to get into doing a blog, now would be a great time to do it. Hint, hint. And if you're not sure how to start your own blog, there's plenty of communities within Empire that can give you some tips or suggestions and help you develop your own blog. 
Indeed, indeed. Um, the expertise is, is virtually unlimited. Um, we can find people to do most things. Uh, and the, the, the team spirit as well, the people that cooperating with each other and helping each other. And as we said earlier, if you uh, have a blog that you've written, uh, normally you just get your friends to promote it. On Empire Avenue, you can get your friends and acquaintances to promote it, and consistently so. Um, and um, we can't emphasize enough, yeah. Empire Credit is free. It's free, which means that you get a whole lot of free promotion and advertising out of it, um, hopefully, fingers crossed. And it's a great way for promoting your cause. Just remember that Empire is a is an international worldwide platform, I guess we can honestly say, so that if you're trying to promote a local food bank, you may not get as much traction as something that most people around the world could promote to. Um, I know last summer, one of my little on a personal note, one of my little pet peeves yep. is that around Thanksgiving, Christmas, you see all these promos and all these people getting behind food banks and and starving people and homeless people. And you know what? People are starving and homeless year round, not just at Thanksgiving and Christmas. And there was kind of a grassroots move on back over the summer months to promote not only local food pantries in the middle of the summer, but also what they call the backpack um, for food, food banks and for kids over the summer mm -hmm. months when school's not in session. And I helped promote that, even though that's not in my local area, but I used Empire to help promote that. I'm sure I didn't make a whole big dent in it, but at least it kind of gave me the warm and fuzzies, a uh, random act of kindness, if you will, that I was yeah. actually helped promote something that it didn't matter where in the world you were, there's a food bank and there's people hungry year That's round, right. not just yep. Yep. Not November and December at the holidays or whatever holiday in whatever country you're in. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Um, it's, it's good to be able to promote your own uh, interests, your own charitable causes and to get other people involved too. And whilst they uh, may be on the other side of the world, uh, their contacts are in fact global they may be in your neck of the woods so uh, it's a great way to actually promote uh, charitable causes too and we've got several people involved in that haven't we in, in uh, on empire and two summers ago it was actually an empire member or through an empire members mission that i heard of things like um what they call the backpack, which is a promotion that helps kids. You know, when kids are in school, they can qualify if, if the family is a hardship or family's going through a rough time, where they can get that hot meal or that food when they're in school. But what happens when, the, when that child goes home for the weekend? Indeed, so they've yeah. got these little backpacks that they could pack for the child that looks like a backpack and they could take it home and they've got some hopefully nourishing food for the weekend. Um, I saw that and I started asking around up here through the local not-for-profit groups and nobody had heard of that and a couple of them are actually trying to organize that up in my neck of the woods now. So it was something that was unique to that part of yeah. North America that I was, we're now trying to do in this part of the country. So just because it's it may not be local or it is local to your area, doesn't mean that you're not going to help pass the word to other people. And I thought that was one of the important values of Empire is that it does kind of help you to expand your knowledge and your horizons. A little soapbox there, sorry. No, no, no. I mean, that's the, the thing is that what you just said is replicated by uh, the, every, yeah. a lot of the members uh, in support of, of charitable causes. And that's one of the things that Empire Credit is good at. So... Uh, we're coming close to winding up. Um, I'd like to say I've enjoyed talking to you, Skip. It's been the first time we've had the occasion. And in that uh, area, we should be thankful to for Blab uh, for bringing us together. Uh, for everybody who's been listening, uh, we appreciate your time you've taken to, uh, to listen to uh, Skip and I. 
if you have any questions, you can still leave them, them after the blab is over and we'll try to answer them. They will be another blab on Thursday at the same time. So if you have watched this one and want to take part in a live blab, having experienced this, then just come along at five o'clock on Thursday and join us again. Uh, it's been a pleasure uh, talking to you, Skip. It's been a pleasure explaining Empire Crowd, which we're both very enthusiastic about and which we enjoy playing. So uh, it's over to you to say th your thanks, Skip, and then I think we'll wind down for today. Um, I think that's about it. You said everything other than the fact that I just, in the comment field, I just posted um, both my Twitter handle and my empire name. Um, or on Empire, we actually call it a ticker, not a name. Um, so feel free to hit me up on either platform if you have any questions. Um, I'll be happy to work with you offline or help you get started in Empire if you're new. Or if you are a, a relatively fresh face on Empire and you're confused, I'd be happy to help you out. Or as uh, Lynn just posted here in the somewhere in that message thread a minute ago that you can always stop by once you're in Empire, head over to the community forum called Welcome Wagon. Uh, there's a group of volunteers that are there pretty much around the clock that can help uh, fresh faces get started, whether it be any question, just remember the only dumb question is the one not asked. So feel free to ask any question in the Welcome Wagon and volunteers such as myself will be there to help you out. And actually, I'm heading over to the welcome wagon after the blab here. So, All right. okay, brilliant. Okay, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I think now is the, the best time to uh, to wind up. So I'm going to 